Yo, what is up YouTube, it's Dark Fang here, back with another video. Today, welcome back to my Dark Rants series, where I basically rant about stupid stuff. Um, today, basically, I'm going to be ranting about how high res are adding too many new champions in such a small space of time. So, yeah, enjoy. Broken cigarettes and bullet holes One more to the chest and I'm alone Nothing gets me any higher And nothing ever will Try to stay sober So, if you've all been playing Paladins for some time Then you'll, you'll have noticed that Hi-Rez updates the game every, like, fortnight With a patch preview on Friday now that's alright, that's what that's one of the great things about Paladins, it's always getting new updates. But when there are new cha when like new champions coming out like every two patches, you start to think, are Hyra spending more time on champs than they are on the actual game overall? I mean don't get me wrong, I like these new champs. I mean Terminus, the newest champ, as of uh, 22nd of October when I'm scripting this video, don't know when it's coming out, is actually like a great frontline. He's just He's just great. So is Talus, Strix. You you get my point. But if you but you gotta remember, if Hyrus keep releasing all these new champions like every two patches, then they're gonna be doing a lot of work designing and making, coding these new champions, which means they're doing less work on basically making the game better like overall. I mean don't get me wrong, they're doing well making new maps, new skins, bounces. Balancing champs and adding other things like rank 2.0. But think about it, wouldn't rank 2.0 come out much sooner if high res focused on like high res focused on that instead of more and more and more champs? So what do I mean by adding other things to the game? Well, maybe adding new game modes. I made a video some time ago talking about new game mode ideas. These consisted of things like capture point, like when you have capture point A, B, C and D. I've seen this game mode in other FPS's like um, First Assault, which I can remember from the top of my head. But yeah, the other game mode I said in the video was like a capture the flag type of game mode. Basically like, you know what I mean, capture the flag. But there are other game modes that could be added to it, like since Paladin's kind of on the MOBA side with items and stuff like that, there could be like um, a game mode that is similar to the main game of League of Legends or Paragon, like where you have to like take down the towers, you know what I mean? Yeah, you probably do. Also, maybe bring in like an arcade mode and the old survival mode. But since we're on the topic of uh, game modes, uh, high res please take away on Onslaught the um, point, so it's like a team team deathmatch type of game, that'd be much better, then there's no like, you don't have to be tanked just to win the game, like, and stand at a point. But, that aside, um, you could also, they could also actually add, you know, custom, like, customization in custom games, like, geez, we, we need it, like, how much better would it be to play Paladins our own way, like, Customization, it's not really custom games, it's just you choosing a map and how many players you want on it. That's, that's the only customization we have. Like, add that. What, what else could they add? They could add, um, they could add events. Like, say on Overwatch, they have, like, Halloween events, Christmas events, etc. And basically, they just have, like, they add new skins and new game modes according to the event. Like, Christmas is skins in Christmas, Halloween is it? You, you get my point. Instead of doing a high, pulling a high res and adding Halloween skins like a month before Halloween comes around. Alright, so let's compare this, like how many champs Paladins has, with other competitors, which are basically hero based shooters. So, Paladins is still in beta. I said that with air quotes, but you can't see me, can you? Um, how long has that been in beta? Like, jeez. Anyway, um, as of now, Paladins has 32 champs with Terminus, the newest one. So, let's compare this. Dirty Bomb has 22 mercs, according to Google. Correct me if I'm wrong, I, I don't play that. Um, Team Fortress 2 has 7 characters. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, don't play that either. Battleborn has 30 heroes and is not in beta, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong again, I don't play that either. 
and Overwatch with 25 heroes and is not in beta. From this list we know two things. One, Paladin has been in beta for way too damn long. And two, it has more champs than any of the other games and is the newest game on the list out of these four. It's, it's like the newest one and it has way more champs. Not way more, like Battleborn. It's only five, three more than Battleborn, but you get my point. There's more and it's been out for the least amount of time. So, high res, we don't need this many champs this quick. I know Paladin is kind of on the MOBA side, and high res, our make and did also make Smite with a lot of characters, and you know, MOBAs like League of Legends have 134 champ characters, champions, whatever, but since Paladin is a first person shooter, we don't need I mean, it's kind of on MOBA and first person shooter, but still, we don't need that many champs in the game. So, I asked a few other people what they thought on the subject and got a few responses. Alright, so first of all, Avi, someone I know from a server that um, I'm on, so that high res could just bring a new champ like every three months or so, and also they said they should bring back survival, because you know, we all love that mode, but yeah, so that's what one person said. Next we have Block 500 a friend of mine, he said that if high res keep releasing too many champions, then they could like run out of ideas and then in a few months no new champions for a long time so yeah you gotta keep that in mind and finally Ghostbuster 4 said that high res could eventually have so many champs that they wouldn't know what to do with them using Marvel as, a, as an example as you can see which got me thinking that they could also make it harder for themselves to like balance champs if there's too many but that's you know that's just my thought So, anyway, those are my thoughts on the constant releases. Feel free to comment your opinions on the subject in the comments below. And with that said, thanks you all for watching. If you did enjoy, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new and you haven't already. Um, join the Discord, the link is in the description. Um, share the video, click the bell button to get notified of my videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Wow.